parenting tips. Did you know that you can start reading to your baby when he's in the womb? You can read books everywhere, not just before bedtime. Research shows that reading to babies increases their awareness of the world around them. Also, reading to your little one enhances their language and cognitive development. As soon as your baby is born, you can start a library for them. When choosing a book for a baby, look for books that have simple storylines and vivid images. You can also find touch and feel books that actively engage the baby by encouraging him to touch the materials inside them. Look for books that use language in a musical way, like Dr. Seuss's books. Babies might not understand the words, but they love when you read to them in a sing-along voice. For toddlers, look for books centering around a daily activity or chore. Check with your local bookstore. Many have reading circles where your child can enjoy time listening to a book and sharing with others. As your baby grows and develops, so does the way he plays. Imaginary play allows your child to be himself, to explore the world with his imagination, and to manipulate things in his own way. Children can look at a box and see a castle. To enhance and foster this imaginary play, you can get them some accessories for this castle box. Dress up clothes, play food, and anything that helps your child expand that imaginary world he has created. When you buy toys for your little one, Choose toys that promote playing real-life situations. Between the ages of two and three, most toddlers want to dress up and mimic real-life circumstances. If you look at them play tea time or teach their doll manners, you'll notice how they copy us. It's best not to interfere with your child's imaginary play decisions. Avoid undermining their choices by introducing a new game. Go along with what they are doing and try to be encouraging and supportive of their play. Some days you just want to stay indoors and play with your baby or toddler. For that, you don't necessarily need a toy store. All you need is to get down on the carpet with your baby and use your imagination. Through play, babies develop their cognitive, social, and motor skills. When playing, babies learn to share, communicate, and take turns. Playtime can be simple as moving a truck back and forth, banging with a wooden spoon, or pretending. You can use playtime as an opportunity to teach your baby. Teach him to count with raisins. Teach him colors with colored paper. You can also play peekaboo and have many laughs. When you play with your baby, remember to get down to baby's eye level so you can be a part of the game. Let your baby lead the way and let her choose what to play as long as she is safe. Consider consulting books to guide your play. Be part of your baby's imaginative world. Have fun, be playful, and enjoy. to your baby's sweet babbling and wonder when she will say mama or dada? Well, each baby has his own pace and individual variations in language development are very normal. Between six to nine months, many babies begin to communicate more. They usually start by making vowel sounds first, like ah, and later add consonants, such as ba. Your baby will start imitating speech patterns even though he is not saying any real words. To encourage this babbling, read books with him. Label items in his world by pointing and naming them. Mirror the sounds that he makes and talk to him in full sentences. Babies learn a lot when you talk to them. Soon your baby will imitate you and repeat.
repeat words over and over again. At around nine months, he might make up his own first word. Don't worry if you don't understand the word. It is not really a word yet. Between nine to 12 months, your baby's babbling will sound more and more like speech. And that is the time you might hear his first real word. Subscribe now.